I, I will be the last to sleep around 11, 12. That's when I sleep every blessed day. I don't have it off because I was staying with her full time. So all the salary she has been paying me, all the money I've been struggling, I send it to my mom so that she can be able to save it for me while I'm working, trying to get gather the money. All right, very distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it's your favorite boy, Carlo Piccini, aka Oga Roland. All right, guys, um, today is a very beautiful day and... You know, we always make sure that we make everything beautiful for you to watch. And we have so many stories to share with you. And, you know, this platform is a platform that is open for everybody to hear your views, your grievances, what you are going through, you know. It might help others, you know. Sometimes some persons might be facing a lot of things and they don't have the courage, the morale, you know, to come out and face their fears, to express how they are, what they are, whatever they are facing. So but by so doing, by watching others, being able to, you know, come out boldly to say, to do things, you might also be encouraged to do same. So please, as you're watching this video, make sure you share this video. All right, guys, before, let's go to the main business of the day. I have here with me... Timmy Lugard. Timmy Lugard. So, um, Timmy Lugard is a very beautiful chocolate lady, you know. She has something to share with you guys, which is a little bit sad. Eh? But we just need your advice. So, stay tuned and watch this video. All right, so, Timmy, just tell me everything where... You go to the camera. Come back. Come close. Uh -huh. Make it more that the same. Everything we share for me online for Facebook. Just talk and so the audience will watch them because people they watch this video now. Hello, no noise, oh children, no noise. Okay, so let's go. Ah, it's my mom. So no, tell her your name and. Okay, my name is Timmy Lugard. I'm here to talk about what happened between me and my mom. I live in Lagos. I travel to Portaco just to work so that I can raise money to pursue my career. I, li I like fashion. I want to be a fashionista. I want to hold the fashion home. So while I was in Lagos, I was not getting much money the way I expected. So I just told my mom that I'm traveling to go and stay with one of my aunties like that in Portaco so that I can be able to raise money to pursue my career. So I went there. Okay, what kind of job were you doing with this auntie? I was doing a nanny job taking care of a special child. His name is Melvin. I woke up very early in the morning, around 6, sometimes 5 o'clock in the morning. Then I, I will be the last to sleep around 11, 12. That's when I sleep every blessed day. I don't have it off because I was staying with her full time. So all the salary she has been paying me, all the money I've been struggling, I send it to my mom so that she can be able to save it for me while I'm working, trying to get, gather the money. Since she she's not that well, I think she she doesn't have that much money to sponsor me. So I say let me take that step. So while I was with her, I worked with her for one year. I went there since 2021, and now I came back. This this now I worked with her for like one year and six months. So now I came back. I met met my mom. I was like, I've been back since one month. I have been asking my mom about the money. All she could tell me was that she have invested it and she will give me back that in, in, in due time she will give me back. I have been waiting. So I, I don't know what to do. I just let me come to you and ask for your advice. I don't know. I have been trying to ask her to, to, to tell me, okay, which investment did she make so I, can, I can put her with her. But she's not giving me any update, like anything. She's just telling me that I should come, that I should have patience. I have been patient since one year and six months. And now I'm running out of patience. I don't know what else to say. Okay, that means if I may get you right, since you came back now, it's been up to a month. Yes, a month plus. A month and plus. she has been telling me, come to, uh, don't worry, the investment will, will soon push through. You will see your money. I don't okay. know what else does, to do. Does your mom have anything doing? Yes, she's a petty trader, but I don't know. I, I, I'm supposed to see changes, but still nothing. The little money I, I even took from where I was, that was what we are still using to manage right now. Okay, do you have siblings with her? Yes, I have siblings. Okay. And you've been you uh, have you have you have you asked like do you have uncles or do you do you have relatives? No, Which... not really per se. Okay, 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 I understand. And she said that she saved this money in the bank. Yes, that she has been saving it. That now she uses it for an investment. What kind of investment? She doesn't want to tell me. She's telling me, eh, don't worry, the money will the money will come out. Don't worry, when the time reach, you will see your money. Since I've been asking her for a couple for a couple of days now, I've got to a month now, a month and two weeks. She's still telling me the same thing. I don't know what else to do. This is really sad. This is really sad. I understand. I understand working. Do 
doing in any job, how stressful it is, and sometimes the person you live with might be maltreating you, might be taking, making, you know, just of you and something like that. For you to work for that long and save this money with your mom, and she end up, you know, I don't want to use the word lavish the money because we've not, and we need to get, we need to go to her. Share your your place is very close here, right? Yes, it's close. It's not that far. Okay, so and I believe she's at home. Okay, so what we are going to do now? I will come with you. We'll go to your mom. We need to talk to her and see if she actually invested the money or I don't know. Probably she bought property with it, but we want to know the root of this matter. So, all right, guys. So for you that is watching this video, please follow up and share this video. You know, to me, as I explained everything, and it's really very sad. You know, it's heartbroken after you serve someone for a very long time and end up coming back home, you know, to pursue your career, your goal, and you end up being going through all this kind of, you know, frustration and disappointment. It's really very sad. So, guys, please, as you're watching the video, make sure you share. All right, guys. So, um, Timmy, let's go to your place now. Okay. So, yeah, so let's go.